All right, we're going to go ahead and get started. I apologize for the abrupt exit. <laughs> I didn't see it coming. <laughs> oh, I just get so excited when I talk about microbiology. I, I lose myself. <clears throat> All right. So we just have a couple more minutes of material to go through. I do want to remind you that um, the, these lab meetings are recorded. So if you have to miss a lab sec session someday, or if you just want to go back and, and re-listen to something, you can um, find the recordings on Canvas in our, in our lab course, um, just in case. All right, so this is where we left off, looking at these uh, results. Um, I also want to point out that um, there's notes underneath these, some of these slides, if you can see those. Um, and that'll help you walk through how to interpret that test as well, okay? The hardest one to interpret is that nitrate reduction test, for sure. Um, on this next slide, Um, not that one, but this one. I want to just go through what I'd like you to complete in your lab notebook for this material. Just like we did last time with the protein catabolism lab, um, there are no results for you to record today. So for this respiration exercise, um, you can actually, um, just cross out the two tables that ask for results. There's um, on page 143, there's a results table for the oxidase and a results table for the catalase tests. You can just cross those out. Um, it's, more, it's more important that you understand these tests, um, what they're testing for and how we interpret them. So um, on page 140 in the manual, where it says procedure second period, I want you to complete questions number one, three, and four for the nitrogen reduction test, or sorry, the nitrate reduction test. It shouldn't say nitrogen reduction test. <clears throat> so questions one, three, and four. And then complete question 1B, where it says catalase test. Now, if you turn to page 143, that's where the lab report is for this exercise. I'd like you to complete the purpose and the hypothesis. But again, you can then cross out the results tables for the oxidase and catalase tests. And then if you turn to the next page, you can also cross out the conclusions questions because those are really based on uh, laboratory results from cultures. So go ahead and cross out conclusions. I'd like you to complete questions one to four. And then on the next page, page 145, you can cross out the critical thinking questions. And I'd like you to complete questions two and three under clinical application. And I see we have a new, a new microbiology student <laughs> joining us. <laughs> Yay, we always need a new student. That's right. The more the merrier. All right, ladies. So um, again, um, <clears throat> when you have a moment, go to the, uh, the homepage for the lecture course and open up the new online schedule. 
um, and you'll bet you'll have a much better idea of what's coming up and on what dates and so on. Um, again, we are not you're not going to be writing a lab report for the unknown microbe, um, but you are going to be completing the very last exercise in your lab manual. That's what we'll be doing next time we get together. That starts on page 147. <coughs> and I am going to give you some data, um, some virtual data about um, an unknown, and um, you can use it for that exercise. But that'll be next time. Um, I will get to, um, I'll take a look at the exams over the next about 24 hours, and I'll uh, double check all the questions and I'll look at the bonus question and so on. Um, and then you'll be able to um, see not only your grade, but the questions you might have missed. Um, and uh, we will move forward on, into next week. Does anybody have any questions or comments? <laughs> Uh, let's see, there's one question about the lab manual. Yeah, you're crossing out the results tables for the nitrate reduction test as well. So it's for all three tests, you're going to cross out the results tables. Nitrate reduction, oxidase, and catalase on the next page. <clears throat> and yes, um, remember that um, anytime if you miss a four o'clock or a five o'clock lab, um, there are going to there are recordings on Canvas for those. So Sarah, is, since you weren't able to make it to the four o'clock one, you can go back as soon as I post it when we're finished you'll be able to go back and watch that 40 minute lab video on on canvas in our canvas lab course oh i'm sorry it's actually on our youtube channel i forgot <laughs> it'll be posted on our youtube channel um i wouldn't worry about believe me i wouldn't worry about forgetting to do things or doing things a little late or whatever because everybody is under a lot of stress right now and everybody is adjusting as best they can to a new schedule and I'm absolutely um, taking that into account. Um, we're going to talk more about um, the unknown, the very last exercise in your lab manual. We'll talk about that on Monday in our lab meeting. Um, but yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give everybody um, some data and you can use the charts um, in that last lab exercise to trace out all the results through the charts, through the key, and see if you can identify a micro based on um, a whole lot of data, a whole lot of test results. Um, you know, if it's positive for this, but it's negative for this, what does that mean? And so on and so on. That'll be next week. Um, I want to see if I missed anything else. Yeah, the last question on the exam was a bonus question. All right. Any other questions? All right, very good. All right, ladies, I'm going to let you go. I'm going to let you uh, go and um, do something else for a while. <laughs> Hopefully do something a little more relaxing. Um, we will see you next week, okay?